hey guys so welcome back to my another video and in this video i'm gonna show you the how we can get the data from the api and we, I, I will load that data into, into the uh, chart here in the in this app as you guys seen in my in previous video i have already added these features to by adding a new title so i could able to add a new data here i'm going i, I can also click on this uh, the calendar icon so it will give me a date picker i can add on descriptions and it will submit in our data here and of course i could also able to edit if i like it and uh, this will do edit here and if i don't even need it then i could able to remove it right if i can remove it and perfectly works fine so it's all doing the crowd functionality and i'm just adding this as an additional functionality just to show that we could able to get a data of the calculations which we created in our api before if you guys didn't check my previous videos please watch the previous videos that i created the api on using the spring boot and this is the uh, the endpoint that was returning me a data percentage count type and here is the endpoint here so if i refresh here now it says the 100 percent is done because i have only one data here if i click it and it's the it's done so if i added a more data let me go to the add any more data here let me add something else and let me do this as a pending right and if i do as a pending and if i submit then i will see a two data now uh yep 50 percent is done and 50 percent is pending so based on this data this api what i'm gonna use is i'm gonna put on this chart so whenever it's refreshing then it's gonna show the exact data here right that's what we want so let me create a service for it so this is the service so now let me uh, get that service okay so first is get get the uh type it's a type uh get type percent okay percent percentage okay this would be the my api and this api will return me the object here a call account and a type so i will create something called count and type and this will return me the array okay it will return me the array of the i and interface i will create it definitely and this would be a uh, the type percent interface uh okay uh, basically it's gonna count how many of it uh so basically it's, it will give uh the count percent or type percent it doesn't matter what, what you want to uh, call this so i will go to the here in tox interface and i will create that interface okay and that interface will be the the count as a string and another one is a type also as a string and i'm gonna export this so i will put it here to export it okay so once it's exported now i could import it here in here in here i import it perfectly fine i import it now i can able to call the get request so i will use this get request here and basically it's the same exact but the endpoint is different so it talks that it does something like this so i'll just use this here okay so once i have get this data now it will receive me the uh, the array of the i type percentage so i will use that okay i will use that here so let me see what's the error which i got here uh, okay this should be the array of the i percentage yep it should be the array of this which is perfectly fine but i'm still seeing some issue here it's returning the observables observables oh of course it should return the observable here observable of the that so observable observable of what observable of the array of type percentage so this is the service which we created so let me go to my home component because i have a chart in my home component i could also create a different uh component like chart component but i added on chart here the donut chart and it's it's loading this the this data at this time so whenever it's loading so we will we'll get the, the uh, api request from here right so it's, it will give me a get type percentage and i'm gonna call that service and let me add the dependency injection for this so private let me add the service which we have is a tax tax service right tax service service and let me ask add the tax service again so on this tax service uh, i'm gonna call that the the ap uh, the method which i created and it will provide me a data
okay so this will be my data I'm gonna if there is an error then I'm gonna print the error here if it's not an error then I'm gonna put the data here as a D so which is good so far okay so this will call at the time of the when this uh, method when this uh, the component would initialize it so now this will get so let me see that I get the data in console log or not okay here it is the data which I got 50% and done which I got now I need to put in the chart here okay so how do I put the chart so here is the data so I'm gonna delete this and in this in this this donut chart data what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop this the first thing is I'm gonna use a for each and I'm gonna get the each of these talks right uh, not talk sorry this will be a type percentage uh, type or I can say type doesn't matter so I'll use an interface called type I T Y P E type and percent I type percent uh, let me grab the interface name which I created here I type percentage so I will get this I type percentage uh, on this array here and uh, I will loop this every for each and once I have once I got this type percentage then I will add on my donut chart data which is here so I will add in this dot donut chart data dot push okay I want to push that data and this should be a type dot this should be a number so it should be a count okay looks like I have an okay import this well this is not even imported I type percentage so I will literally write it down here import I type percent from where from from the interface go back to the interface okay and go to the talks interface right there so now if I save it let me check yep its account is here but the push will check uh, why is complaining uh, because the count is a string that's why okay so whenever we got the data in the interface we we let me do as a number here I'm not exactly sure uh, it will give me some error or not but let's see so now let's see what will happen if it's reload is reloading and is it's, it's looping okay it looks like we got the data here is a 50% and this is 50 is 50% done and 50% is pending right yep it is so 50% is done and 50% pending but we haven't add this done and pending label so we need to add this too okay so on this label what we can do is we need to push this we can uh, depend on that data because we also got the, the, the type here okay so instead of the count uh, I need to do type dot type here so we will reload this the label as well so whenever is reloading so we will get the reload okay here it is here it is perfectly fine now the only one thing left is we need to get the percentage data here as well so that was the here but uh, we need to loop this now we need to loop this total analytics and uh, every time this total analytics will loop if I put it here another one then it's gonna uh, add it here below it right here the done but we don't want to do as a done so we want to loop this and we will put the data here as well and I know that we will get the data on, on D here the type data so you know what I'm gonna I need will create something called type data and this will be the array of course the array of what uh, let me do this column here array of I interface type DYP type percentage this will be empty array okay and this is the type data and I will just assign it to D here as well type data dot D so now we know what is the type data is so we're gonna loop this the type data here and G4 let n of type data okay so each of this here we will get the uh, we will get the here type dot we will get the count and we will get the n dot 
type okay so if I save it now we will see it here so if I refresh then yep we see the 50% does and 50% pending right if I add something new here if I click it here if I click here and if I add something 50% done and 50% pending let me add some to do is left let me try to add some term here save then it says that 33 33 33 percent right and if I click it here it also says here in a hundred is this region here we we can get the count as well we can write the API to get the how many are there and we can say that how many talks are there so we can add it here this one as well uh, but I'm not gonna do this on this videos maybe you guys can add it I'm gonna put this all the code on the below uh, on the github so you guys can download at free and you guys can play around it okay so we i am only adding on this at this time but here on display we didn't get the data uh, so we are we also need to add a, uh, the display data so if i go to my css here if i go to my css which i copied before so here is something called done color is a variable is created done color pending color and to do color which is not been declared so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go here and let me check here okay so we need uh, we have some variable is created on, on our uh, home component here on CSS if you guys check it here it's done color to do color and pending color but this the color uh, has doesn't have uh, this color variable it's not been declared so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna declare here so I'm gonna do done done dot uh, I mean that's that's dot done dot color so I, I want to specify what color this will going to be and I will show you the result what happened later on so I'm gonna put this color here for done if I save it then here it will change it right here right this is the call right here here it is so now I'm going to do exact same thing for other one. The other one has a pending and done. So there's a pending and the done. So this would be a pending here. It's a four. Okay, here it is. So four. Uh, pending is four E three D C eight. And the last one is a done. So, oh, not done. Sorry, this should be a. Sorry, this should be a to do color, and this should be a pending, oh, pending color. So let me change the pending color as well for E three D C eight. Okay, so. Okay, it's exact same color which I put it here. So to, to do one let me just F F B F three A. Okay, so this is the color for the to do. So now the color will change here as you guys can see. Okay. So this is perfectly fine. So now if I added one more with a different I mean pending, then of course the data will change it. And if I submit, then this will reflect it right here, right? But the problem is if I change it this one to pending and refresh, and then this will not even change. But if I refresh, then of course this will be changed, right? So now whenever we update it, we need to refresh this one as well. We just refresh this, but we didn't refresh this. So let me refresh that one as well. To refresh that, what we need to do is it's on talk. So whenever we uh, list is here and and here is here, this is the guy that will be a triggering, right? It will, but we need to tell the higher component, which is our home component, to tell the refresh too. So let me use the event event emitter to do that. So for that one, let me use the output decorator first. Output decorator, and let me create a refresh something called refresh emitter. Okay, and this will be a new event emitter event 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 emitter of of type what or maybe type boolean because we're not sending any data so we just i just create it as a boolean here so this is a refresh emitter so whenever is refresh emitter will emit the value of a true right then this i need to put this on my home component which is right here on html uh here 
so here I will say that okay this is my refresh emitter and if a refresh emitter will be emit then call or refresh emitter on home component so I haven't created any refresh emitter here in a home component so I will just create another one so what is it to need to do is need to do that okay rerun this project rerun this one so i'll just tell them to rerun this but the problem is we push this data here so what happened i'm going to show you what happened now the issue will be okay uh what happened there is an issue here the reason behind is is because of i need to use the event like this event image or not like the uh the big bracket here i need to use apprentices here okay so now it looks like okay looks like if i go here right and if i change something and pair it will add it basically now it's going to add the add more and more right if i click it update then it's going to add a more and more chart as you guys can see it is not uh, this is not even right right this is not even right it's adding a lot of this uh, the the labels and then the data here because i'm pushing on my donut chart and the donut label here so what i need to do is i need to make this empty every time when i call these functions uh, just clear the uh, my uh, clear the array and and add the new array so now what happened if i refresh it let's see now it's a 50 percent of pending right so if i go it here let me change to done so if i go update okay now it changed now the 50 percent is done and 25 25 is pending right if same thing with the done done is how many persons we have we have 50 percent done so now let me change to to do so to do will be 50 percent to do and 25 percent done and done and here the, it will change as well of course if i remove it then it will also reflect this and it will also reflect this so it it will change it reflect here and it will also do an event emitter to on my top level component which is right here and this is that's it guys and we can and this is the way easy way i mean it's not uh, that difficult to create a crowd functionality on the angular using the spring boot uh, here we can add a new data we could create modify it we can remove it and based on that we could also uh, change our uh, the the chart here which is really good to see right and of course we could also there is additional points that which we can get the data from our api how many are uh, are here the taxes are here and we can put that tax number right here in the middle and this is also custom css would be uh, i have made a custom css this is not come with a chart.js or it will not allow us to put it inside this is a custom one i created with the css and you guys can put this one as well and that's all for this video guys i hope you guys learned something new and uh, thank you very much for watching this series and i hope uh, yeah I'm going to create a more videos on full stack uh, knowledge or full stack development and please do subscribe and like my channel guys and thank you very much for watching bye for now